Yo, what's crack and lacking my boober gang? It's the boober back here with a brand new video. If you guys do not know who I am and what's on my channel, basically I do abandoned places with my friends, I do traveling with my friends, and I basically chill out with my friends. <laughs> Speaking of chilling out with my friends, I actually got to do some crazy ventures with my buddies on this one. Me and my friends actually got to explore and do an overnight challenge at the most haunted hotel in the world and in downtown Chicago, Illinois. It's called the Congress Plaza Hotel. If you guys don't know what the Congress Hotel is, I'm gonna tell you right now. The 19th century came to a close. The Congress Plaza Hotel Hotel and Convention Center opened in 1893 as the Auditorium Annex, built by famous hotel developer R.H. Southgate. With its unique facade as the centerpiece, the elaborately designed hotel soon became a favorite among Chicago's captains of industry, society, politics, and culture. Today, following nearly 125 years of refinements and refurbishments, the Congress Plaza stands among the most historic hotels in Chicago with a story as rich and fascinating as that of Windy City itself. Once years went on, Al Capone started going there to do his business with his associates. And once he died, it really got strange even more. For decades, the ghost of Al Capone has been reported in the hotel's bar and lobby. The hotel was a known hangout for the notorious gangster who held his business meetings there. Several of Capone's business associates and friends, also known as the most dangerous criminals in the city's history, lived in that hotel throughout the 1920s and 30s. It's reported that corridors beneath the hotel were used for smuggling, among other dark deeds. Al Capone's ghost was one of the first to be seen throughout the hotel. And Al Capone's ghost was not the only one seen throughout the hotel. There were other spirits who claimed that guests have seen throughout this hotel experience. The other ghost happened to be Peg Leg Johnny. Named after his Peg Leg, the ghost's true identity remains a mystery. Sightings of him have been reported in many rooms throughout the Congress Hotel, including the lobby, dining room, and many other floors. It's believed that Peg Leg Johnny was a homeless man who lived and was murdered in the alley behind the hotel before it was built. His ghost is the most reported apparition hotel, and he's known for turning on and off lights and appliances. Another spirit that happened to be seen around the hotel was a little boy chasing around guests throughout the hotel during the nighttime. The little boy was actually thrown off a balcony by her mother before she committed suicide in the same hotel. The woman's name is Adele Jang. Her son, who's six years old, happens to be Rel Tommy, a four and a half year old, to be Jan For decades, the ghost of a six year old boy has been reported running around in the hotel. It's believed that during World War One, a young mother came to stay in the hotel with her two sons. She was supposed to wait for her husband to arrive so they could all start a new life in Chicago. But, as the story goes, her husband never arrived, and the distraught mother threw herself and her sons out of a hotel window to their deaths. It's reported that one of the bodies didn't make it to the city morgue, that of a little spirit boy who's been spent decades chasing guests. No sightings of the mother has been reported. And finally, we get to the most spookiest room of the whole entire hotel, room 441. Guests staying in this room make more calls to security and the front desk than any of the other rooms in the hotel. People staying in the room 441 report to see a dark figure of a woman who kicks them awake. Guests also report seeing objects move and hearing terrifying noises. The room inspired Stephen King to write a famous story, 1408, about a hotel room that notorious for causing suicide. That's the stories that we know so far. Will we actually experience anything like that tonight? We'll find out. Let's get on with the video, guys. This guy is right there. We literally decided to come to this place on the craziest snowstorm of Chicago. It's all the snacks Ryan has. <laughs> We're almost there. Billy, I can't believe you're wearing shorts in the middle of this freaking winter storm. Look out, guys. Here it is. Here it is right here. All right, guys, we got our key, so we're going upstairs. Hello, creepy spirits. You in here? Oh, damn. I'm actually gonna get all my equipment out right now. I have no ghost sensors or anything. Will, get your fingers out of the well. I'm scared for Jake because I know Jake's gonna fuck with the spirits while we're sleeping. I'm gonna fuck with the spirits. No, you will fuck him real hard. Yeah. Why are my kids looking at myself? Fuck. Why is there a mirror on the toilet, bro? I don't wanna look at myself while I piss. You wanna see the ghost behind you, you do? Oh, yeah. 
and be on. Holy crap! I can use Darren's hat for hours. Prepared for everything. <laughs> All the way on the 12th floor, guys, in Chicago. Know, Look at this. Is, it's crazy how the snowstorm is. Closet, right? Fucking scared. Just like lock me in here. <laughs> no, Will, Will! Ah! Ah! Did you, did you pull? Oh, there's a light in here. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, that's probably a that's probably a semen stain right there. That's, <laughs> that's, that's ectoplasm. That's probably that's ectoplasm. Man, that's probably Billy's ass sweat. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we're about to go explore some of the hotel. Some video shots could be pretty dope. <laughs> All right, guys, so right now we're going to 441. That's the most haunted room right now in the entire building. They're the ones we have loved. So we got to go this way. Wait, what the fuck? Guys, I feel like someone's pulling my finger. I'm, I'm being for real. Come on, no, it does exist. 43, 45. That's the most creepiest room that has to exist in this place. Oh wait, what's from? Maybe, I don't know. The most haunted floor is the sixth floor. The most haunted is the sixth floor? Yep. Okay, come on, let's go. Uh, dark as hell in here. Oh, this is creepy. God, there's like no lights in there. No lights over there. I see Jake's reflection, that kind of scared me. Oh my god, it's creepy. Of course I'm gonna go in. What? What are you talking about? Man, I'm getting paranoid as hell. What? Classic old wallpaper. God, I'm stupid. There's so many stairs. Hold on. Oh, there's not that much on the floor. It's a dead end. Someone jumped off from like the 13th floor and got messed up and died. Oh my god, for real? Yeah, one of the suicides. Jesus Christ. Guys, it's someone someone literally jumped off this balcony to this balcony part right here and went all the way down and died. Oh god, that's creepy as hell. Oh my god. I think it smells like a dead body up here. Oh no, I can tell you there's not a dead body. And the guys and I discovered another door that's leading it's to the outside. Fire escape. I was talking about sounds cracked open like that. I don't know if it's going to sensor alarm or anything. Let's go explore the haunted. All right, guys. So after we got done exploring the sixth floor of the hotel on the south side, we decided to go all the way down to the main floor and then go all the way up to the east side where most of the scariest haunted floors are at. It kind of feels creepy, too. I wonder why this door's sealed off for. Well, there are, there are kids out the window when she was in, the, uh, in this room. Are you serious? Oh my god. I feel bad for the kids. They don't deserve that. Oh shit, I just got the chills. When, Goofy? I an emergency door. And they keep, it keeps going back and forth. See? I don't really do much about this door. People say she's uh, standing near a. Hey, I want to be the first person to see. That's the fire alarm, dummy. <laughs> Shut up, just being prepared. I don't hear anything, but I kind of get like a like a weird sense. You know? Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, well, come on, let's keep exploring. It's a narrow ass hallway. This room doesn't 
a 666 room somewhere. 66 room? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't say there is. I don't know. It's supposed to be an office. Yo, what the Oh, God, this is dark as The rooms do kind of look nicer down here. Yeah, this is the elevator. Dude, the fucking elevator literally just talks to yourself. Does this go right through the sewing machine, but it's like. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, wait. That's a good no, oh, I know, but it looks like it was a different room before. Probably the big door. Maybe. Yeah, they need to take that sign down. Oh, wait, what the It's a lot of Oh, you're probably right. It might be, yeah. Ew, what the fuck? Wait, did you guys feel like a shift? Mm. Like when you guys came through here, you guys felt like a little shift in your body? Like I went from second to fourth here. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Well, you felt it? I was just throwing out some fucking car shit. Dude, we know it wasn't you. Yo, what the f Maybe that was the door. This is with this room, they turned into an office somewhere. Here, maybe. Maybe it was. When this hotel was made, it was made before you know, the rule of no 666 room. Because they're religious fucks. On to the next floor? Yeah, why not? You see how these are in place? Yeah. The door was sealed off right here. See, that's what I told you. Yeah, it was sealed off right here. So. Oh, wait, each door. Yeah, the little top thing. So each floor had a top thing, but no door because it was sealed off. You got that? Oh my god, there's a ghost here. The ripple effect was going off on his shoulder. Yo, what the Yo. Yo, that's not. Guys, this is all real. I'm being 100% real. This doesn't work on anything else. Unless I go to like Jake or something like that where it picks up. What the fuck? That's from Jake. Oh, that's from Jake? Yeah, that was in it. Thing is, why is it picking up something over there? Jake, take a screenshot. Take pictures. Take pictures off your phone. Is it down the hall? Yo, what the, the thing is, the first thing I captured right before I hit record was a full ass figure but looked like a woman with long hair. Really? Right by this door right here. Did you guys hear that? Oh. Yeah, should we? What? Effect. That should help around you too. Huh? Yeah, it's like hot around you in your sleep too. It was? Just gonna throw that out for you. You wonder. Are you serious? Yeah. There was somebody watching over me while I was sleeping? I think someone's near me right now. Will, is there someone near me? I feel like here's something behind, like by my right ear. Or this just in case, Jake. Okay, I want you to come back more then. So I'm gonna see if there's anything you can use. All it's doing is picking you up. Anything? No. I made a more research. Maybe. Uh, that 
that's creepy. There's probably no one on this side. Hell no. What? Popped up again? Wait. Our fellow show. Oh god, there it is. That's about the size of the homie. It will pop up again. Oh my god, there it is. It's already right below over the where the 666 would be. Wait, what the f weird. Right in this doorway or right here? Oh, oh my god, they're right. Pointing at Boober. Pointing at Boober. It should pick him up. Once it focuses, it'll pick up Boober. But if you point it at something that's not alive, like an inanimate object, it doesn't pick it up because it's supposed to detect like a body. Person. Three quarters, one might as well, I'm thinking. Okay. It only picks up a body. Well, it's like, I thought it picked up movement. No, it doesn't pick up movement. It senses like a figure. That's not the way it works. But, but let's move you out of the way real quick, just in case. Yeah, it's going it's to pick up what's closest to you, pretty much. Oh, and you see how this is not constant either? Back a little bit. Try to... Oh, God, they're right in front of me. Oh, that's Jake's dumbass. <laughs> I don't know. I oh, I see there's someone down there in the hall floor. Yeah, I did. Come on. Oh, right there. They pick up the entire floor. What the? That's really weird. It is. It is. They pick up the entire floor, though. This is the most haunted floor. This is the 12th floor. I'll pick up this building. Come on, let's go down there. Yeah, but we're double checking again with the app. 652. Guys, there's literally a body. What Did you see that which just flew past the screen? Yeah. That's a. F oh my god, they're getting closer. See, Will, that's what you get for being an. A Hey, did they pop up again? It is coming from here. There's a whole mess. Uh, half up, upper half body of a guy. Here, let's get closer. Oh, it's not catching blurriness. Oh, now it's caught back. Yeah. You're catching a drift by Let's make a tapping sound on the wall right here. I highly doubt they're going to make a tapping sound on the wall. You'd be surprised. What the f Guys, hold on, something just touched my bottom part of my leg. That's how I felt. And I think it was this floor, though. I'm not, I'm not tweaking, like, I don't make... This is really sketch. It's on. I had a chance to get that on a video. Recording now. It's more like your phone just kind of tweaking, dude. Recording now. It's more like your phone just kind of tweaking, dude. Yo, what the I had a form of someone in a dress at one point. Oh, that's f***ing weird. Oh, well, stay right there. Stay right there. I'm trying to get a camera shot. I'm just recording on this as well. Oh, hello. I don't mean this shit's picking up the same shit on every floor. Not really. Dude. Same sort of shape. That's on the that's for reason here. Hey guys, well, we're done exploring the hotel right now, and we're gonna go back upstairs and sleep. It's currently like 4.20 in the morning, so. Ready to get back up and sleep. It, all right, guys. So now we're leaving the hotel, and we experienced a lot of cool stuff here, and discovered a bunch of new stuff. But hey, 
It's a cool adventure. Guys, we literally just got back to the car in the parking spot we're at. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at all this. We're like freaking caved in with this. Holy fuck, that's a big ass snow. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Brush, Ryan. No, try now. This sucks dick. <laughs> I got another idea. <gasps> it's a bear. Go suck my dick. Garbage can right there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we got the car out because of my idea. Yay to the beer. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me at Jacob Uber, and check out many more things along on Jacob Uber Vlogs. And also, show you one more thing. I'm blind. <laughs> You guys want to see me blonde? You guys go check out my next video to see how I dyed my hair. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out, boo. -boo.